medications are the heroes and allergens become villains in the Iggy and the Inhalers series. Alex Thomas, a pediatric allergist at the University of Wisconsin, uses this video and other comics he created with his partner for his asthma patients. What we're trying to do is insert scientific information into those metaphors so that kids are excited to be learning about superheroes and learning about the supervillains and all their strengths and weaknesses without kind of realizing that they're actually learning about asthma path pathophysiology, asthma triggers, uh, the correct use of medications and their mechanisms of action. There are no significant statistics yet on the effectiveness of comics as an educational tool, but Thomas says his tests show promising results. For example, one of the questions was, you know, wh how does a, a bronchodilator work, which is a type of asthma medication, and before our comic book, 18% of kids got it right. After the comic book, 68% of kids got it right. The use of comics is not limited to children. Brian Kloss is an emergency medicine physician at SUNY Upstate Medical University in New York. He recently published Toxicology in a Box. It contains 150 flashcards he uses to teach medical students to recognize and treat drug overdoses and poisonings. I think that all of medicine can actually be boiled down into comic book illustration by taking complex subject matter and presenting it in a comic book format or a comic book illustration format makes it much easier to digest and learn it much more quickly and efficiently. The Comics and Medicine Conference included sessions where doctors learned about using comics in their practices and workshops on how to draw them. I use them a lot in my teaching with medical students as a way of helping explore various themes that I think are really important for doctors. Uh, understanding the patient's experience of illness and uh, how to understand complicated stories. There are also a growing number of cartoon-style memoirs on illness, including the New York Times bestseller, Marbles. Ellen Forney, who chronicled her struggle with bipolar disorder, was a keynote speaker at the conference. I think that comics is a medium that's really, really powerful for telling personal stories. That there's a lot of specific information um, with, the, with the words, but especially in a comic about moods, the use of pictures can create a sense of emotion or tone. Comics are still a small part of the healing arts, but doctors who use them say they play an increasingly important role. For producer June So, Amy Katz, VOA News.